All right, Pisces, what is up? I'm here to do a collective reading for you guys. This is going to be a general reading. Um, so take what fits, leave the rest. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. Um, all right. So we get the letter V wanting to come out. Victory in some endeavor. I like it. Okay. I'm going to leave that as your overall energy for this reading. Victory in some endeavor, Pisces. Okay. Take a check. Take take a check in. Take a second to check out um, the description box below. If you guys would like a personal reading, you guys can do so there. Um, also, my mom's GoFundMe page is listed. If you want to hear her story, then you can read that there as well. Um, we also have a younger man coming out. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. So you could be dealing with someone who's younger than you. Man or woman, or maybe you're just dealing with a masculine figure. All right, let's jump into this because Spirit is wanting to talk. So we got Kite, Vacation. We have I, Psychic Ability, Trust Your Intuition. Oh, shit. Pisces. Look at that eye. Psychic ability. So, 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 okay. Not some of you. Whoever's led to watch this video, which a lot of Pisceans naturally um, are very, very intuitive. Okay. All right. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment here with the tank yard. And that came out uh, <clears throat> with this kite vacation. Then we have haystack karma. You will reap what you have sown. So you know whether that is good karma, bad karma. All right, from the looks of this reading, it looks like you have good karma coming in. You have tank yard, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Um, you may be dealing with a younger man. Ow. Okay, show me. Okay, pineapple, reconciliation, or you could be dealing with your past. Okay. All right. Somebody here may be wanting to take a vacation. Somebody may be wanting to reconcile with you with this pineapple. What is this? The Pineapple Express, Pisces. What is going on? This is 2022. I thought we were leaving everything in 2021. Hmm. I mean, if that is what you guys have been wanting, then there it goes. Um, You possibly... Okay. Oh, shit. We get a rat. Okay. For the last card. Um, We get Claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. We also have a key, successful outcome to your problem. So you may be getting a key to a new house, a new car. Um, this could also be something in the spiritual world, like getting the key, like finding the key to your success, finding the key to unlock, you know, your psychic abilities, your third eye, whatever it is. I feel like you're you're getting something here. Then you have the rat. Someone is working uh, against you or behind your back. Like, can't we just get one reading that is... <laughs> Okay. Okay, we have Rose on the bottom of the deck. Romance is in the air. <sighs> Reconciliation. Okay, so let's go through and clarify some of these. I love this song. I've been searching. Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. The song that's playing right now is Selena Gomez, Cut You Off, okay? Y'all should check that out. If you're, like, one of those that are going through, like, an ending or a breakup or something, I have a whole playlist of breakup. <laughs> I have a whole playlist of songs that keep my mind where it should be. <laughs> okay. One of these days I might share it on, on, I don't know if I can even do that, but. I think I could like share my playlist or something on on here, my Spotify playlist. We'll see. Okay, dealings or relationship with a younger man. We have the five of wands coming out. So there could be conflict with others. There could be um this could be friends, family, coworkers meddling into a situation. Show me what this is about. There's some type of change here. Maybe that's why something is changing or did change. Also could have been a third party, three of cups coming out. Somebody here could have reconciled with somebody else, or this could have literally been somebody's family who is meddling in. This could also be a father figure, a boss, an emperor. You may be younger than this person. This person may be younger than you. I'm hearing sirens, okay, which I normally don't in this area, but, you know, I do feel like there's some type of fighting or conflict surrounding this emperor, this Aries, or this boss, 
possibly because of a love situation. You know, maybe this person had three women. <laughs> oh, that is an emperor right now. Don't attack me in my comments because I know I'll get people in there. That's not an emperor. I know that's not an emperor, but I was making a joke because, you know, it's like Big Daddy of the Tarot. So Big Daddy has three women who are fighting over him. <laughs> okay, enough of the jokes. All right. Show me the psychic ability. Take the message if it resonates with you, okay? Leave it if it does not. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you. Show me psychic ability. Trust your intuition. Pisces. Trusting your intuition, listening to your intuition, and having an intuition, <laughs> you know, are all different. So you get the Ace of Pentacles. This may be about a gift. Somebody may be coming in trying to offer you something, a new opportunity. This could be like a new house, a new car. We do have the key down here, successful outcome to your problem. So mm, use your intuition when it comes to some type of an offer. It could be from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or somebody who is stable, somebody who is well off, somebody who has their shit together. Ooh, this could be a business owner. Throw one more on this psychic ability. Why does Pisces use need, need to use their intuition? <clears throat> okay. Two of Cups, wow. So this could be like, let's see. I don't know if that came out in the reverse or in the upright. I just seen the Lover's card too. This could have been a relationship that either ended or this is a soulmate connection coming in. Use your intuition. Psychic ability, trust your intuition, trust your intuition. Listen, I don't know why I keep feeling the need to say that. Temperance could be a Sag or this is going to be something that is balanced, all right? This will be a very healing. This is an angelic. This is being brought to you by the gods, by the angels, whoever it is that you believe in, okay? Your stability, your finances, I feel like you're safe. You're going to be victorious in some endeavor here, Pisces. You're very balanced. You've, you've been doing the healing work, okay? And your finances, you're about to get, <laughs> you're about to get blessed, Blessed Pisces. You could also be doing something here like. Your intuition could have been right about something. Or maybe you're doing something in the spiritual work. Maybe you're a tarot reader or a medium or, you know, some type of a psychic. Or you do something, you know, with divination arts. Um. You're a fucking healer. Wow. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> okay. Pisces. You trusted your intuition, or you are, or you need to. One of the two. You're going to be fucking good. You're good, Pisces. There's drama going on around you. I strongly feel that. It, you know, even if this man isn't younger, you could be younger. Um, or there's a younger man involved or a younger woman or I don't know what it is, but there's a third party and there's an emperor here. This could be a child's father, a baby dad, a boss. It could be your boss, you know, but there's a lot of drama surrounding this person because of a third party situation. Let's move on. Um, show me celebration, fun and enjoyment. Celebration, fun and enjoyment for Pisces. Yeah, yeah the truth. And clarity, possibly, about a large lump sum of money. Okay, or family. Ooh. Show me celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Justice. Wow. <laughs> oh. Libra and energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're about to get justice here. Somebody here did not want to work with you. They didn't want to work together with you. They didn't want to collaborate with Pisces. You're about to get justice for that. That's okay. Or maybe you're choosing not to work with somebody else. It could be somebody who wants to work with you, like, in regards to, you know, going in on a business together or um, starting some type of financial endeavor or somebody here who sees you do, like, fuck that. Okay, you're getting some type of celebration here, fun and enjoyment. 
Things are going well in your life, Pisces. Somebody is like, your justice, Libra and energy, I feel like is not collaborating with somebody. I feel like somebody's trying to ride your wave. Like somebody may have left you when you were down. Because we have reconciliation out here. Remember, karma, you will reap what you have sown. I see good things coming in for you, Pisces. I see you being blessed from the gods, from the angels, because you're you're either a healer or you've done the healing work. Your finances are good. There is drama going on around you. But again, karma, you will reap what you have sown. We got justice here. That can also, you know, represent karma. But we're clarifying celebration, fun, and enjoyment. So your karma, your justice is celebrating, having fun, enjoying yourself. Okay, you don't have to work with somebody here. I feel like I feel like somebody left you when you were down, and now that you're doing well, your justice is going to be like serving this person karma. And I hate to say that because I mean, yeah, the tower card, queen of wands could be a fire sign or a Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's going to be a fucking tower moment for this person. Yeah. And you're going to reject them. You're going to reject their offer. You're going to walk away. Thank you, spirit. This could be somebody who you have a family with. You're going to cut this person off. <laughs> like Selena Gomez was saying, I don't know, but think it, I just cut you off or I don't overthink it. I just carry on now ooh, 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 ooh. or something like that. Okay. Anyways, some of you guys, um, I ain't going to lie. I've seen it in my comments and doing personal readings, but like some of you guys are fucking vindictive, like, and you guys need to watch that behavior. And I'm not saying all of you guys, because I've talked to some really amazing people and you guys know who you are because I would have told your ass on the phone. Okay. But how I felt, I don't sugarcoat it. That's for sure. But I'm saying some of you guys be like, I just want to see him get his karma. I just want to see her, you know, rotten hell or whatever the fuck you guys say, like some, some really evil tainted shit. Okay. Just remember, you will reap what you have sown. If that is you, you know who you are. All right. But for those of you who are like, man, I really did care about this person and I don't want things to be over. But, you know, I see that this person has some growing to do and I wish them the best. And if they ever need anything, I'll help them. You know, for the, you know, every situation is different. But I've heard so many of you guys come from a very good place in your heart but go through terrible things. And just to let you know, everybody goes through those things. Somebody else's lesson is not your lesson, you know? So it doesn't matter how bad you want to be with somebody. You, there's a lesson. If you guys, you know, accepting what, what is going down or accepting the lesson, finding the hidden lesson, that's what life is, you know? It makes everything so much easier. I wish I knew this shit when I was younger, because I did a whole lot of crying. I'm a fucking Pisces, okay? I get emotional. I haven't cried in like a couple years, except when my daughter like hit me in the nose the other day and like, you know, silly stuff. But anyways, nothing like emotional crying. And it feels great. <clears throat> Cause I used to cry about everything. <laughs> I would like wake up in the morning and start crying and be like, I don't know why, I'm just sad. But I don't know why. Okay. Enough about me. How the fuck did we even get here, right? Basically, is what I'm saying is we got karma coming out next, okay? Talking about your investments, planting those seeds. <sighs> karma, you will reap what you have sown. So what did you do in 2021? What please, <laughs> what please, what seeds did you plant, Pisces? All right, it's time for harvest. It's time to watch them grow, okay? If you put bad out there and you're like, I hope, oh yeah, that karma thing. Some of you guys are really wrong for saying, you know, and it's like 5% of you guys. It's not a whole lot of you guys that watch my channel, but okay, maybe like 10%. Be like, man, I just want to see him get his karma. I want him to hurt like I hurt. And honestly, wishing somebody that that energy is only going to come back to haunt you. It's only going to come back to bite you in the ass. Okay. 
So just understand that your lessons to learn, and I'm not excusing people's behaviors, but things are divinely guided. And once you learn, once you learn that in your life, like things happen for a reason, it, it makes it easier to help like let go of situations. And that's why they always say, if it's meant to be, you'll come back, right? Somebody else's soul's journey for them to ascend, you know, is different than yours. So if somebody is leaving you and they're like, you're like, why are you doing this? You have it great with me. You know, everything's perfect here. And that person is just like making irrational decisions to leave you. And you're like, you can't force that situation to go in your favor. Okay. There's a lesson that that person is going off to fate to going off to learn, hopefully. Some people don't fucking learn and they keep repeating it, okay? Some people learn and come right back. Some people learn and decide to move on or they come back and you've moved on, you know, or vice versa. Maybe And then maybe you end up learning something like, man, maybe I shouldn't have. You end up learning something from that. You may not see it at the time of, of emotional pain and hurt and anger, but you'll end up seeing it later once you start to heal from that situation. Jumping into another relationship is not a, how to heal either. People do that shit all the time. And all you're doing is putting a Band-Aid on wounds, you know, until they get infected. And then you have to end up in, in the hospital. No, I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? Like, just putting a Band-Aid over it and like, oh, she cheated on me, so I'm going to go cheat on her and leave her. You know, it's like you guys are just creating so much pain, unhealed pain. I don't know. I feel like you're about to get back. I feel like you're about to get justice, Pisces. I feel like it's great. I feel like you're going to be blessed from the divine with an opportunity. This may be financial. This could also be like a gift from the universe, you know, a house, a car, whatever. Something here is going to fall into your lap because you're either a healer or you've done the healing. Um, you, you, you know, maybe your lesson was to to learn self-love because I keep seeing these cups being poured into each other. So it's like pouring into your own cup, giving back to yourself, letting the flowers bloom, dipping your toes in the water, experiencing new things. All right. So show me one more on this. You will reap what you have sown for Pisces. I hope I made sense with all that talking. Sometimes I feel like I get distracted and I don't get my point across. All right, so we got the king and the queen of pentacles out here now. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may be getting offered, you know, like a proposal of marriage here with this ace of pentacles from this king of pentacles. Maybe the masculine could be coming towards the feminine wanting to offer something. Then you have reconciliation right after this. I feel like somebody here, he has seven of pentacles and then three of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like... Somebody here is looking at your pentacles or you're looking at your pentacles. Somebody sees you, that you've planted seeds and you're watching your harvest grow. And I feel like somebody here is trying to come in and collaborate with you. But your justice is going to be not working together with this person. What is seven minus three? Seven pentacles minus three. Okay, it's four pentacles. It's it's greed, right? Is somebody being stingy, holding back, holding on to their coins? Somebody here may be trying to come in and take what is yours. And I feel like your justice is going to be not working together with this person. This person may try and come and offer you marriage or, you know, like a grand old Opry. Okay, now I'm getting two different things. Either this is the universe blessing you. Four of Cups, yeah, reject the shit. Okay, if somebody comes towards you trying to propose to you, somebody who... um maybe put you in some conflict or a third party situation, or this was an Aries or a boss or a father or somebody in some type of leadership role that you looked up to. Okay. If this person's coming in, trying to offer you marriage, commitment, stability, like let's move in together. Let's be a happy wife and happy wife. No, this person just sees that you got something invested here and it's, and it's, it's flourishing. All right. They see you as this queen of pentacles, wifey material, but not until you have something. Show me this pineapple. Show me this pineapple spirit. Bust it open. <laughs> Bust open this pineapple right here. Show me what's inside. The Empress. <laughs> 
taking off, taking swift action. Maybe somebody's wanting to send you messages. They see you as, as their wifey material. But this person either has drama around them currently because all these cards are in the upright. Like this isn't over. Whatever this person is going through could be a Leo. All right. They have a choice to make. Yeah, this person is, hasn't made a choice yet. They're holding back from making a choice. Trying to find the courage and the strength, possibly, to make a choice here. But this is currently still a third-party conflict situation. Six of Wands, more Leo energy. So somebody here is wanting to be victorious, coming towards you, reconciling. This person could be manifesting you. I hope this person isn't like... I don't know. Somebody, somebody here could also be doing something online. Somebody sees you getting a lot of attention. Show me the Six of Wands. Why is Six of Wands here for this reconciliation? Somebody could also be wanting to reconcile with somebody in the public eye. I just seen the death card. Could have been a Scorpio. Show me reconciliation, Six of Wands. Sun card again. Okay, so there could strongly be a Leo here or somebody you share a child with. But I feel like somebody sees you fucking happy and they want to reconcile now because they see you doing well. The sun is coming out. There's growth, expansion. You could be taking off, like taking the fuck off, Pisces. On your stallion, maybe with your kid, in the sunshine, with your sunflowers, and everybody's rooting for you, Pisces. I'm going to go to a different deck. Um... Show me vacation spirit. Ooh. Seven of Pentacles wanting to show itself. Yep, you've put in the work, you've invested, you've planted your seeds, and they're taking harvest now. Things are starting to grow. That's what I'm talking about. Wheel of Fortune in the upright, Pisces. You learn to balance out your shadow side with your light side. Okay, could also be dealing with a fixed sign. Leo, Scorpio, Aries, or not Aries, Aquarius, and Taurus. Excuse me. What is this vacation? Justice. It's your fucking justice. Could be with a Gemini or a Libra. Um, something here is about to be made fair and balanced within a relationship with, with a soulmate. This could also be an interracial relationship. You know, someone who is darker complected and the other could be lighter complected. Two different nationalities, two of pentacles. Clarifying vacation. You could be trying to balance out your finances. You could also, in this particular deck, this to me isn't like somebody juggling. Like she is literally, like she's yin and yang. You see what I'm saying? Like yin and yang. Like she has... Her shit is balanced, you know, like she has a rhythm going on, maybe two different streams of income because pentacles could be about in income. All right. This woman is like, I don't want to say hippie like, but, you know, kind of to the same sense, like somebody who feels free and other two of pentacles it could be more of like a stressful energy, like somebody who's trying to balance out their finances, like in the rider weight, it's, you know, there's choppy waters in the background. Behind her in the background, it's calm. Whatever it is, if that's sand or freaking water, I don't know. Maybe sand, but it's calm. All right, she's very calm, very comfortable. Taking a vacation. So I feel like you're going to comfortably be able to get take a vacation. This is your justice. You could also be meeting a soulmate or a Gemini or somebody there. Clarify this lover's card. Whoa, three of wands. <laughs> you may be going somewhere where, you know, like close to the beach. I feel like your ships are coming in. You see them coming in. Maybe this is something that you've been waiting on for some time. You could also be taking a vacation going somewhere foreign, you know, because I see like this girl has painting on her, um, you know, like they do. 
like henna or, you know, in different cultures when they have that on them. I'm not sure what the word is. Sorry, guys. But, uh, and I see interracial, interracial relationships here, the beach. I feel like this is your justice. Things are about to be made fair and balanced for you, Pisces. Show me the claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. What? We're going on vacation. What are you saying? Don't take risks. Okay. <laughs> be careful. Do not take risks. Do not be indecisive. Two of Wands reversed. Could be do not take risks with the fire sign. I also see a fire truck here. Maybe somebody needs to be careful. Do not take risks when it comes to like... Maybe before you go on vacation, make sure everything is unplugged. Make sure everything is off the world. Yeah, you may be doing something that is very successful. Um, I don't know why I'm being drawn to all these shapes on here as well. Like, I heard dynamic and flexible. I don't even know what that means, but I mean, I know what they mean, but I don't know what it's relevant to. All right, two wands reversed. I also see a fire truck. Is that a fire truck? Yeah, it is. Oh, no, it's a, oh my gosh. It's totally not. Okay, well, it was upside down, and it looked like a freaking fire truck to me. So still, um, for some of you guys, make sure it can't hurt. Make sure everything is unplugged before you leave home. Make sure everything is off if you do go on vacation. Because we got a globe, and then we got like a little Volkswagen bug with another surfboard. Okay, so somebody here may literally be like indecisive about where they want to go. Three of Wands. And you have the Three of Wands upright, so... In the world card, it's like somebody here is indecisive where they want to go. Or maybe do not take any risks. Maybe you need to be careful where you go. Like if you're planning a trip, make sure you get all the information. Like Just make sure you plan your shit smart, okay? Don't go anywhere where, you know, check the weather, check the... Check, check whatever it is. Check the people. <laughs> you know. All the safety precautions before going into another foreign country, okay? Make sure you have your passport. I told you guys about that dream I had like a month or two ago. About how somehow I went to the Italy airport. And I was like... I literally woke up and thought I was there. Like it was really weird. And I was going to call my friend and tell her to pick me up. And I was like trying to fit in with everybody because they were talking about how they like to rob Americans. And I was like, how Americans are so dumb and we get pit pocketed easy. And I was like, oh, and I had my wallet in my back pocket. And so I like slid it to the front and I was trying to act like it wasn't foreign in a foreign country. Yeah. And I just walked through like this giant ass like airport that had many levels. And then I got out. And I didn't have my bicycle because I ditched it at the front of the airport because I wanted to look like I fit in, you know, like I knew what I was doing. And then I got out and I didn't know where I was. It was really weird. So maybe something like that, like make sure you know all the information. Isn't that weird? Okay, I got a dream book here. I wonder, I don't think it has everything in it, but I wonder what it means. Airport. Arrows, apples, angels. They have an acorn in here, but no airport. Okay. Anyways, moving on. I feel like you're full of life. You're full of adventure here with this page of wands showing. You're full of spunk. You're ready for fun. Just make sure you're smart about it. Like, you know, okay. Success. Outcome to your problems. Sorry this reading was long, y'all. Uh, successful outcome to your problems. If you guys like it, please hit the like button. Queen of Swords reverse. Damn. Oh, successful outcome to your problems. How is that? Okay. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You may be dealing with somebody who's very vindictive, very mean, very fucked up. 
And there goes the five of wands again. This could be the, oh. The song that's playing right now is Fuck Apologies by uh, Jojo and Wiz Khalifa. This is me and my daughter's song. <laughs> but uh, in the beginning, she's like, I do what I want. Or he says, I do what I want. And Jojo does too. Me and my daughter are always like, I do what I want. And Kira does too. I don't know. Anyways. So six of wands. This is the same six or five of wands. Excuse me. Shh. This is where the drama is, is with this person. A queen of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody here may be trying to move or trying to travel or trying to come towards you, Pisces. And this woman is fucking vindictive. She is mean. She is cold. She is a bitch. Like a big bitch. All right, this is where the drama lies. So this emperor might be with this queen of swords over here, or there could be a third party who's this queen of swords, maybe even a Cancerian involved, but that's where the drama is. Somebody's trying to come towards you, and um, it's creating a lot of fucking drama here. This, Whatever this is, there's going to be, this is going to turn out successfully. Okay. Show me the rat. Someone may be working behind your back. That's probably who it is. Seven of Swords. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this person right here, she's she's not very nice. Uh, seven of Swords. Somebody here is lying, cheating, stealing, being deceptive. Somebody here could be like sneaking around at night. Somebody could also be trying to travel towards you in the middle of the night. Like, show me Seven of Swords. Someone is working against you behind your back. Someone is working against you. What is this for Pisces, please? Seven of Swords. This dude has a knife in his hand. Be careful for anybody, like, carrying any weapons, or maybe you need to carry a weapon. Ace of Swords. That is the truth. All right, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody here is trying to steal something. This could be your money. Eight of Pentacles. Because they see somebody over here. I told you. Oh my goodness, goodness, and three of pentacles. Wow. I told you, didn't I? Fuck both these motherfuckers. That's your reading, Pisces. Somebody up here is trying to steal something from you. They see you planting your seeds. They see you doing well. Like I was saying up here, I felt that somebody here, you know, Seven pentacles minus three. They're going to leave you with four pentacles. This person sees you coming up. They see you planted the seeds. They see you doing well. Your justice, in order to make this situation fair and balanced, do not work with this person. Do not. You have a soulmate coming in. You're also having love. We did have, where was that? On the bottom of the deck, we had romances in the air. Your justice is not only not working with this person, it's, this is serving them justice, serving them their karma. You will reap what you have sown. All right, you will have love coming in. You'll have a new soulmate coming in, and things will be fair and balanced, okay? Things will be fucking equal. Equal. Like, like I keep saying that this woman is like contently juggling these two knapsack, purse type things. Mm -hmm. It leaves me a drop. And I'll never go outside. Yeah, don't work with this person. This person has a knife in their hand, Pisces. Spirit said that's the truth. Look at this shit. This person does not mean you well. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. They're coming after your money. They're coming after what you've harvested. What you've worked for here. Fuck them. Fuck both of them. Fuck this bitch and this bitch. All right, Pisces, that's what I got for you. If you like this reading, smash the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.